Hey everybody, this is Troy Alexander. You are on, on Hamilton Radio with Troy Alexander, inspiration with Troy Alexander. One more time, I'm telling you, listen, this show is about encouraging you to follow your dreams. To what dream? Take that step. Walk with purpose into your destiny. This is what this show is all about, to encourage you to bring on phenomenal guests, y'all. I'm telling you, they have reached amazing plateaus in life to let you know you can do this. And guess what? It's not over. I got so much that I got to share with you really quick before we bring our amazing guests onto our show, uh, which I'm so excited to have. But listen, I got a point of purpose that I want to share with you really quick. And y'all know I do that on Facebook, right? So I put points of purpose on Facebook every now and then just to encourage you and uplift you and to let you know don't give up on your dream. Listen, this one was about, listen, it's okay. The butterfly didn't start out that way either. Keep going. There is more. I'm here to let you know the butterfly, it doesn't start out the way it looks at the end. But the point of the matter is, wherever you are, keep moving, keep going into your destiny, your purpose, walking, keep doing what you are purposed to do. And if you don't know what that is, listen, contact me. Listen, let's have a talk. But it's important to understand what your purpose is in life. It's important to know that, that, that this is the lane that you are supposed to be in. Because I'm telling you, I, I've known and I'm a, I'm a witness, sometimes you're in the wrong lane. Doing stuff that's not aligned with what your purpose and what your calling is. But I'm telling you right now, I'm excited tonight to know better what my calling and my purpose is. I got one more point of purpose that I want to share with you really quick uh, is this. Your experience is the foundation of your house. There is more to the blueprint. It's time to build on it with your purpose. Listen, I'm telling you right now, your experience is your foundation for which you build upon. It is not the house. It is not the end all. So the hurt that I was in last week or last year or five years ago is not my dwelling place. The hurt allowed me to realize that there was a healing place of something greater in my life. And, 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 and so now where I'm at is I'm encouraging people. There is an other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you about my testimony. Listen, I couldn't talk as a child. I stuttered horribly as a child. So now I'm on the other side trying to encourage everybody who believed, like I believed, that, you know what? Fear was going to rule my life, that I wasn't going to get over. I wouldn't be able to have a job. I wouldn't be able to live. But I'm telling you right now, it's not over. Hold on to your dream. Hold on to your purpose. And connect yourself with people that's going in an up direction. I'm telling you, that's where we're going with this show. I got a few things that I got to share with you. I'm so excited what done happened from last time to this time. Listen, y'all know I take pictures, right? Follow me on Instagram at pick by design, P-I-C-B-Y design. Follow me there. My website, picturesbydesign.smugmug.com. Listen, I just booked a quinceanera uh, for next February, a 15th birthday party. I'm so excited, y'all. I, I, I told the mom, listen, thank you. So, I'm, I'm so excited. I love taking pictures. So listen, connect with me if you need some photos as well. Guess what, y'all? I'm doing an invocation at the Miss Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program Gala, January 17th at the Double Tree Hotel in Princeton, New Jersey. For more information, go to nlypageant at yahoo.com. Send them an email, rather. So if you have any questions. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Listen, an invocation. Can you imagine me doing the prayer? I'm excited about doing the prayer and pictures at this gala fundraiser for this mentoring pageant program. Guess what, y'all? I, I ordered my customized sneakers from Amaya Steed. She is an 11-year-old CEO, has her own sneaker company. You can order customized. <laughs> so I ordered mine. I'm telling you. So if you want more information, go to her uh, Instagram page, Amak, A-M-A-K-B-Y-A-M-I-Y-A. That's the Instagram. So Amek by Amaya. I'm telling you, phenomenal, phenomenal. And my last thing that I want to share with you really quick is that um, my photo that I took at a nonprofit event uh, to, uh, that's in support of the empowerment of, of young girls, they used my photo from their event on the holiday postcard. Uh, I'll bring it. That's how I was in the other room, but the next time I'll show it to you on the show. But I'm so excited tonight about everything that has happened in my life from the last show. And my last thing I say is um, someone put my name onto a comment section of a New York Fashion Magazine uh, posting for photographers for New York Fashion Week for February. And um, so I followed up. The man saw my page, said, Troy, I'm going to give you a spot. So listen, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm telling you, it's all about making the call. It's all about uh, sending in the information, but it's out there for you. Your, your dream and destiny is waiting for you to come, come get it. I'm telling you right now. So it's in the room. So listen, we're getting ready to have a wonderful, my last thing I'm going to share with you before we bring on our wonderful guest uh, tonight, 
We're getting ready for our next mentoring at the mall. It's free. Listen, three spots at the Menlo Park Mall on January 11th from 10 a.m. to 11.30. If you have a business idea, you have a program, a project, you're trying to get to the next level, yeah, I'm going to sit with you for an hour and a half and consult with you for free and, 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 and pour into you everything that I've learned, everything that I know. So listen, if you want to connect with me, email me, call to inspire at AOL.com or I am inspired Troy at gmail.com or m.troyalexander at yahoo.com or send me a message on Facebook, instant message me. But I'm telling you, getting ready. So we're going to ask her to, our, our guest to come on to the platform now, Miss uh, Cha Cha in Hudson. I'm telling you right now, listen, I'm so excited about this young lady who is here on our show tonight. And I want to just say I'm just so happy. Listen, listen, we were getting ready. Um, we were doing something for my wife, and uh, we were getting to, because uh, it was our wedding anniversary. Uh -huh. And um, so what happened was my wife loves to sew. So, so, you know, she looking, I'm looking for some stuff to do. And I love, I love giving her or, or, or supporting her yeah. in spaces that support her purpose and her destiny. So we're looking on, and she finds this place called the Social Cafe. And I'm like, okay, you know what, you know what, what is this place going on? So, but listen, I want to introduce this amazing lady who is the owner of the social cafe, and we're gonna learn more about it and my wife's experience and our experience there as well. But she is an international fashion designer. She is a, a motivator, educator, a philanthropist. She is also a teacher of fashion courses at the University of Delaware's Fashion and Apparel Studies Department as well as an advanced fashion courses and continuing education department at Moore College of Art and Design. As I said before, she is the owner of the Social Cafe, which is a female-focused creative co-working space in Philadelphia. Uh, the Social Cafe provides space and sewing uh, a machinery for women to create, collaborate, and develop handmade products. Let's welcome Cha-Cha in Hudson. Welcome, Cha-Cha. Thank you for having me. First of all, I love your name. Thank you. And, and, and I want to ask you, is, is that your birth name or is that one of your, your fashion industry names? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily a fashion industry name because okay. I've been called this since I was very young by my grandfather. Okay. Um, so let's, just, talking about, yeah. let's just say it's a nickname. Okay. Well, listen, I love it. I love it, Cha Cha. And I'm telling you right now. I, <laughs> so, so we are excited to have you, and, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Tell me, listen, this you an uh, international fashion designer? Yes. Um, I mean, you're a teacher, a professor? Yes. Um, I mean, you have this social cafe. I want to just start all the way from the beginning. Where did fashion introduce itself into your life? So all the way from the beginning, I actually didn't want to be a fashion designer at first. Wow. So um, I wanted to sew. And I don't know where it came from. Uh -huh. I don't know where the idea came from. I know that um, my great aunts used to sew, mm -hmm. but it's not like they sewed around me or right, 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 anything right. like that. It was just like... Mom, I want to sew. So she signed me up for sewing lessons. Wow. Uh, but the night before my first sewing lesson, w one of my great aunts actually gave me my first actual sewing lesson. Really? Before she passed. Yep. Wow. Um, and the next day I was in sewing, a sewing academy. It was called Making It Sewing School. It was on okay. Bustleton Avenue in Philadelphia. Okay. And I wasn't there long. Not at all. Okay. Uh, you have to come to all of your classes. Mm -hmm. It was Saturday morning. I was 12 o'clock. 12 years old. I was 12 years old. Okay, okay. It was on Saturday mornings. I did not want to get up. <laughs> right. So I think I missed like three classes and they kicked me out. Wow. It actually replaced me with one of my friends. Are you serious? Yes. What? You <laughs> yes. got replaced in your first sewing class. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I got replaced. Child, child, the international <laughs> fact, got replaced in her first sewing at, at the age of 12. At the age of 12. I didn't want to get up on Saturday mornings to go to wow. class. Um, I think the only thing that I made in that class may have been uh, pajama pants and maybe a bag or uh -huh. something like that. Okay. But that's it. That's, a, that's as far as I got. But that's all I needed. Right. Because from there, I was just sewing everything. Sewing really? everything. I was going Going right into high school, so I was sewing things for myself, sewing things for my friends, okay. sewing things for the faculty there. Wow. Um, doing like, fashion. Ahead, yeah, yeah, doing fashion shows, everything. Nice. That's just how it started. Wow. And 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 so so what does fashion give you? What, what because I know like like when I do this show, mm -hmm. it, 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 it feels what does fashion give to you? Like what does it make you feel? 
Uh, it's more so a creative outlet for me. Mm. But with the social cafe, it kind of expanded into more because yes. I'm bringing people together and we're collaborating and we're exchanging ideas. And everybody knows who's creative mm -hmm. that when you exchange ideas, that's when you yes. get better. Yes. That's when you reach a different place when you're able to do that. So awesome. it wasn't just the fashion, it's the community too. I love it. I love so. it. How did the social cafe come about? Now, this I mean, listen, y'all. I'm telling you, the building is beautiful. Thank her, you. Her space is oh my, it's so inspiring. It's like so. How, how did you? How did that come about? Okay, so let me bring it back. Probably about two years. So I was starting my master's degree in fashion at the okay. University of Delaware, and I had to close down my studio because I'm in Philly. I have to take a two-hour drive to uh, Newark, Delaware, and it was just like I can't manage both. Wow. So I had a studio. It was about maybe about 500 to 700 square feet, something okay. like that, mm -hmm. and I would work in the studio on my clothing line, but then also teaching some classes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And after I shut down my studio, I'm like, so where do I work on my clothing line? Where right. do I teach classes? Right, where right, 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 There's right. no space for me. So right. I started contacting co-working spaces. And most of the spaces, their focus wasn't on fashion designers. Right, 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 you right. can't have your loud sewing machine in right. our space. <laughs> right, 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 um, right. It's for people working on their laptops and doing mm. graphic design if you're doing creative stuff. Um, there were also places that were doing like woodworking, metalsmithing, things like that. Uh, but there was no place for me to go and sell. Mm. So I was like, I got to create something. Wow. I got to, because I know it's people out there like me. Yes. Yeah. But, 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 but what you just said, Cha Cha, is so powerful because you said, I got to create something. Mm -hmm. But how many people feel the need for something but don't take that step? How, True. How did you have the confidence and the courage to say, you know what? Not only am I going to say, but I'm going to go do it. I think that's been ingrained in me. Mm. I feel like I... I always feel that if I have an idea, I can execute. Wow. And that's just... Always been like that? It's, it's always been like that. Wow. Especially more recently okay. since I've been doing bigger projects. Yes, 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 yes. And just putting my mind to it. That's why I'm very careful about the things that I say mm. and the ideas that you know I'm putting forth and the things that I ask God for. Right, 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 because right. Because right. I know yes. chances are I'm going to get it. <laughs> so ask yes. for exactly what you yes. want yes. because you're going to get it. Yes, So yes. just be careful with that. Well, that so. that's the truth. That's the truth <laughs> I'm telling you. That is, and, and so... Tell me about this social cafe. What what happens there? Okay, so at the social cafe, it's a creative co-working space. So you can come there. You can use sewing machines. You don't have to necessarily get assistance from anybody. If you just have a project that you want to work on, you don't have the space at home. Right then you can use our space. Right. But there's also um, classes that you could take, sewing classes, pattern making classes. You um, teach? I teach. At the sewing cafe? At the so social cafe. At the social ca cafe? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to start actually bringing on more instructors to teach. Um, so if you're in the Philadelphia area yes. and you're thinking about teaching, then we can definitely do something. And, and, and how do people contact you? Oh, you can contact me at thesocialcafe at gmail.com, and it's spelled T-H-E-S-E-W-C-I-A-L-C-A-F-E -E -E at all, gmail. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful space. It's, I mean, I, I walked in, I'm like, man, this is like five <laughs> houses in one place. I'm it's huge. And it, a lot has changed since you've been. Really? Actually, yeah. So we added wow. in some new equipment and some new furniture, and it's just okay, like, touch. Okay. it has this vibe to it. It already back. had a vibe. Yeah, yeah. It has this vibe to it. Awesome. I love yeah. it. I'm telling you, it's so inspiring. You walk in, you got her her, her posters like outside the door, and it's not all, you walk in, you see these uh, mannequins inside. With, but but I, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving your confidence. Thank you. And I'm loving your, your, your ability to say, you know what? I got this. Like, if, 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 if I get it, I can do it. Right. And, and so what do you hope the people that come to the social cafe that they will walk out with? Knowing that they have a community, knowing right. that they have people to listen, to awesome. bounce ideas off of, right. and that they're not alone. Mm. Um, because a lot of people, especially creative people, feel alone in their process of creating. Wow. You know, um, I mm. have members who, you know, at home, mm -hmm. there's not anybody to actually talk about ideas with. Right, right, you know, right, right. because, you know, it's your family and they're like, oh, OK, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, right, yeah, right. that's good. But, you know, they, they don't understand. Well, no, <laughs> not always. That, that is true. But 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 that's why what I try to do, Cha Cha, is I try to connect like minded people might not have the same lane, mm -hmm. but but we got the same passion. Right. You know, the, the same. Yeah. We are, but because I t listen, I told Cha Cha, y'all, 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna get the camera. Get, I, I, I told Chacha, I said, listen, when I got there and I saw my wife doing what she's doing, I saw the space, I said, Chacha, I said, listen, you need to have like your own school, didn't I? You did. I, like your own you university. Did. It's, like your own, it's coming. Uh huh. That's what I'm coming. talking about. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm telling you, because because she has the it factor. Like, like, like she's got that special. And, and, I, and I, say, I, I said it because I saw it. Thank you. And, and, and that's what we do here on Hamilton Radio, this show, is, is that we, we say it because we see it because we believe it to be so. And y'all spent the whole day with me. Yes. The whole day. The whole, what, All like, day. Like, like, like six hours or something? Like something if like not six. more. If not more. It was like hours. but It but, was a good time because we were all creating. You were creating. Yes. Your wife was creating. Yes. I was creating. We were all creating and it was just really good and really good energy. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. I'm telling you, Chacha got some good energy, y'all. <laughs> my wife, too. You know, we were just, but, but we were feeding off each other. Right. It was, it was the excitement about what's coming. And I wanna, that's what it's about. It is. And that's what it's about, feeding off of each other. Yes, yes. Because sometimes you just need that extra, mm -hmm, you, do. you know? You do. Maybe it's not motivation. Maybe it's just, you know, just getting ideas, that extra spark. Yes. And other people can create that spark in you to just do more. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. So I want to ask you, what what is your design aesthetic? Like, do you have something that you really love to kind of kind of make or okay, um, so I have a confession. <laughs> oh, y'all, listen, so, <laughs> listen, this show brings stuff out of people. So, okay, okay, go ahead. I started off talking about how I had a clothing line. Uh huh. Since I've been helping people with their clothing lines, yes. I have not touched my clothing line. Since when? I mean, how long are we talking about it? it? Two, Months or um, years? Almost two years. Seriously, I Chacha? I, I think it's been, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, my mom always says like you do great with evening wear. Like evening wear is your niche. Okay. Okay. And it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I like doing it. Right. Um, but it's not something that I I don't think I would get back into. Okay. Okay. Um, my clothing line was actually a plus size clothing line called Ace Blakely. Okay. And Ace Blakely is not dead. She's just resting right now. All right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she resting. Your heart. She right. Resting. So yeah. I was really into, or I am really mm -hmm. into contemporary plus size clothing. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, what, what, what inspired you to teach? Because, because for me, teaching is a whole other realm mm -hmm. of, 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 you know, because it's one thing for you to love to do something, but to teach someone else to do it. Where did your love of teaching come from? Um, I started a nonprofit. Okay. When I was in college, it was called Art on Mine okay. um, by uh, Karima Ropel. So from there, teaching in a middle school in the inner city, it, I don't know. From there, I just wanted to teach and okay. teach more. And maybe about, I want to say probably about three years ago, maybe even a little bit longer, three and a half, four years ago, I put a face on uh, a post on Facebook, uh -huh. and I was like, I want to teach in academia. How do I do that? Mm. All you have to do is put questions up. People right. are eager to yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So people started putting out, oh, well, maybe you should do this or right. talk to this person. Right, 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 right. But then there were also people like, oh, well, you only have your bachelor's, so you have to have your PhD mm -hmm. or you have to have um, an MFA, right. uh, things like that. So <clears throat> I'm not deterred easily. Right. So not having my PhD or MFA didn't really like, uh -huh. you know, deter me from I know that's right. reaching out. Exactly. Or for applying for jobs. Right, right, right. So actually after that, then I started teaching in continuing education and the YAW program, mm -hmm. the Young Artist Workshops at Moore uh, College of Art and Design. Um, I don't know if this was within your questions, but no, I'm no, probably no. going. Okay. Go ahead, Chata. <laughs> Take over the show. It's okay. No, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, sure. uh, I started at Moore College Art and Design. Yes. After a year of being there, I saw a job posting at 3 o'clock in the morning. I got a notification on my phone for wow. a job posting wow. from the University of Delaware. Okay, okay. And um, I applied for the job right then, 3 o'clock in the morning. Got up, applied for the job, got a phone call that same day. 3 o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. I got a phone call that same day. That's what I'm talking about. And I sent the email. Yes. Um, I filled out the application, but I also sent the email because for those of you who don't know, you have to contact the source. Uh -huh. So don't just apply for a job. Go online. You can Google anything. Find out who you need to be talking Come to. Come on now. That's so what I'm talking about. I contacted yes. the dean, actually. Seriously? Yeah. And he forwarded my information. At 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> no, it could have been. Right, actually. Right, exactly. <laughs> I actually think it was right after I um, right, right. sent in the application. Wow. Wow. Uh, so he forwarded my information to the head of the fashion mm -hmm. uh, and apparel studies department. Wow. And um, I got a response the same day saying we want to interview about. you. That's got what I'm the interview, about, I think two or three days later yes. over Skype. 
and they were actually looking for somebody with their PhD. Okay. But the head of the department said, um, well, you seem like you would be a good fit for our master's program. Okay. And we're going to give you a full ride. Come on. Woo! What? Give me a ball now, John. Talk about, listen, <laughs> listen, three o'clock in the morning turned out to a full ride. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. But not only that, yes. you'll, you'll be able to teach here. Wow. At the same time. That's a, that's a miracle, girl. Right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And that's how it happened. That's how it happened. That's how I got at the university, and being at the university is one of the best experiences wow. that I've ever had. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, listen, we are so proud of you. Thank you. I, I am. Listen, I, I met her for the first time. It was in October, I think it was. It October, may have been October. Uh, October or, or beginning of November. But I'm telling you, her energy, her passion, her, her purpose, her... Thank you. Her, her ju- it's... It's it is affectious. I'm telling you, you you, you are just so amazing. I I love Thank you. who you are, and and I just met her the one time. Listen, this is only the second time that we're meeting, right? This, only the second time. This is only yep. the second time that we've actually met. I'm telling you, but the first time we met, it was so it it was like it was a fit. Yeah, it was. Right, it was. And I didn't even know when you came out. I didn't know you had a show. Right, that's right. I didn't that's, know until closer to the end that you had a show. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to, because... He had to fill me out first to see if he wanted me on his show. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> well, I, well, I, well, actually, I, I, I do all my guests. I'd be like, no, is, 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 do, they have, do they have something to say or are they going to be... So, but yeah, no, no, no. I'm telling you, you, I, I knew from the first time that I had to bring you on the show. I, my only concern was, was you coming here in person? Because I don't know if you're going to come oh, here in person. Do you do... You do like Skype? I do. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, no, y'all. I, I, I didn't tell her that beforehand, so she drove <laughs> five hours to get here. So sorry, Cha Cha. I'm sorry. No, no. Is, I, w- I would prefer this anyway. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. I I, I want. What would you because because that that story that you just shared has inspired so many um, that it's 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 about a a, a pursuit mm-hmm. of, of something that you want mm-hmm. and 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 not being constrained. By, by what maybe others have said or maybe even what you've heard. Right. But the ability to take what you want and taking that step. And I love that at three o'clock in the morning, got a call back the same day. Same day. Yeah. And 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 that and that decision to to make that decision gave you a full ride and the ability to teach. Yep. Listen, y'all, I, I'm <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I, I wanna I wanna ask you though, what during all of this journey from from uh the twelve year old uh, time frame that you got replaced <laughs> at the first uh, sewing class. Um, what what would you say has been your biggest challenge to date? Whether it's through the educational field or, or through the your sewing, um, what would you say has been your biggest challenge? Mm, biggest challenge. There's always challenges. or one of your biggest challenges that you've had to face thus far along your journey. Um, well, actually, after I went for my bachelor's degree i got it from uh, the art institute of philadelphia i went to drexel university and i um interviewed to be in their master's program probably the same year the same year i graduated i I believe and um they looked at my portfolio loved the portfolio they was like the art institute well you're gonna have to start from scratch Mm. like start from you know freshman level really yes wow from the beginning wow and i was like Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. I just finished my bachelor's degree. Right. I got to start from the beginning. Right. And I'm like, I can't do that. Wow. And you know what? That's why I've always wanted to go back to school. I've always wanted to have my PhD. Mm-hmm. But that's why the gap was so long before I actually went back to school. Right, 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 right. Um, because it was a 10-year gap between getting my bachelor's and getting my master's. Well, and going back for my master's. Really? So it's a 12-year gap between the two degrees. Okay. So um, that was actually a struggle because I felt like I'm not going to be able to get any higher education mm. because, right, 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 you know, right. I don't I guess it was like a accreditation issue mm-hmm. or something like that. Okay. And none of the schools in Philly were taking their credits. Wow. So that was deep. That was That's what deep. you do. What, so, so what happened now? Because you now you at a place. So what's your next step? Um, so I will be getting my Ph.D. Come on now. I will, but I don't, it's not right now. Right, 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 right. It's not next year. Well, at least I don't, you know what? I don't know. Listen, you know, the the way things happen, I don't know. Uh, Listen, somebody on here said, listen, I want her in my program, please. (laughs) I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't know. Um, But I actually want to go for art therapy. Nice. I want to use sewing as a form of art therapy. 
Awesome. So that's, you and know, what, that's, what, that's the rule. What, what popular, uh, adults, kids? Or I'm yes? thinking probably adults. Adults, okay. Yeah, okay. probably adults. And I don't know anybody who has done it. Mm. Art therapy is out there, music. Right, right, and, right, right, you know, right, right. Creative art therapy. Yes. But yes. sewing, anybody who sews can tell you, unless they're sewing for people and they're, they have a headache all the time from, right. you know, everything that goes <laughs> on when you're sewing for clients. But anybody who tell you tells you, um, that they sew mm -hmm. and they sew for leisure, it's relaxing. It's the most relaxing thing that you can do. Really? Yes. I think it's a combination of like the sound of the sewing machine, the uh -huh. humming, uh -huh. and the, you know, and you have to focus. So yeah. you can't focus on anything else. Right, right, right. You can't right, think about right. your problems. Yeah, that, that's the truth. Because you have to get this done. I know that's right. So, yeah, that's, you know, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. Listen, y'all, it's going to happen. And, and what you going to call it? I'm not sure. Okay. All I'm right. not sure. I haven't, okay. I haven't All right. thought about that yet. Okay. But I have some other things that are in the works too, but I have to uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to get things together and then I'll be back on yeah, the show yeah. to let you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll right, tell her she's on. coming back, y'all. She's I'll coming back. Yeah. <laughs> listen, this is listen, this is all about a declaration. We we put stuff out into the atmosphere on this show. Yep. Yes, we do. Because cause cause this is what cause listen, I'm telling you, Hamilton Radio, if you have been to the first building. It, it looked nothing like this, mm -hmm. but but they grew into something greater. Right, and I'm telling you, you are social cafe is growing into something greater. Where where do you see your social cafe next? Well, actually, we just had an interest meeting in a holiday okay. mixer in Delaware okay. uh, to see if we would be bringing it to Wilmington, Delaware. So if you're interested and wow. you're in the Wilmington, Delaware area or Newark, Delaware, anywhere where you can get to Wilmington, um, contact me. I would like to know like what places you think would be the best to be stationed at or what services we should provide or just any suggestions. I would appreciate it. So, again, that's the social cafe at gmail.com. I'm telling y'all, make sure you know anybody in uh, Delaware. Mm -hmm. uh, that, I'm telling you. So I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you and what you've done and what you're doing. Thank you. And and it's amazing because you even told me even about college, how you had to, or we, we had to travel like two hours. Didn't you say like two hours to Delaware? Yeah. Yeah. In rush hour traffic. Yeah. And it seemed like every time I go was rush hour traffic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's two hours there, two hours back. Now that is a commitment. It is. It that, is. But if you want it. Come on now. If you Come want on. It. <laughs> Say it again. If you want it. And I'm sure that you tell your listeners that all the time. Yes. If you want something, it's not going to be easy. No. It's not going to be easy. Listen, listen. You're going to have to travel for it. Yes. You're going to have to stay up late nights for you it. You sure do. <laughs> you got to do a lot for it. Hey, listen. I told, listen, before I came on Thursdays, I was on every Monday night at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't get home until sometimes 10 o'clock at night. And I'm I'm still 35 minutes away from home from here. But... Um, I'm, it takes me half an hour to get here, just about. So, but, but the whole point is, it's about uh, commitment. And when you talk about your, your education, I had a 10-year gap, too. Mm -hmm. So I got my master's, my first master's in 94, and then I got my second master's in 2000, well, 10, about 10 years later. But, but then the challenge was I had to go to school every Friday night and Saturday morning straight for two years. So I didn't have yeah. no Friday nights and no Saturday mornings, mm -hmm. uh, but it's about a commitment. And I love, where where did your commitment come from? Because so many people today, like, they're not willing to sacrifice. Right. So so what what did it cost you to get here? <laughs> um, I think I kind of burnt myself out, honestly, and I don't recommend that for anybody. Okay. Um, I was staying up late nights all the time, pulling okay. all-nighters. And it's not because, okay, so I call, mm -hmm. I say this thing called being fake busy, okay? Okay, okay. So when you're fake busy, mm -hmm. you're doing all this stuff during the day, right? You don't do the real work at night, so you're staying up all night. So everybody thinks like, oh, she's always working, she's always doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, but what she's doing is waiting until nighttime, procrastinating. Uh-huh doing the work that she should have been doing during the daytime, mm. right? Um, but if you stay up all night, then that's that's honestly supposed to be, like, the cool thing to do. Like, okay. you know, you're grinding. Your team no right, sleep. Right, 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 right. No, right. that's not the thing to do. <laughs> that's not the thing to do. Right. And um, also talking about being fake busy, mm. a lot of people are busy, but it's not productive. Wow, that's powerful. And, I, you know, I, I've been through that. Right. Where I was very, very busy. Mm -hmm. Not really productive. Mm. 
it wasn't making me any extra income. It wasn't doing anything extra for me, the things that I right. was doing. Right. You know, you have to be very selective about the things that you do and the Absolutely. things that you commit to. Right, right, right. Because you'll just be busy and not productive. That That's a powerful <laughs> word right there. Yeah. Don't just be busy. Be productive. I love mm -hmm. that. Yep. Let me follow on that one. I'm going to get you a T-shirt that says you. that. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all heard it, right? Y'all heard it right here? <laughs> so uh, what, what, what is it that brings you back to your level of inspiration? What I mean is all of us hit a place, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's just being tired or just not maybe inspired in a moment possibly. But, but what is it that has helped you to, to hold on to that level of inspiration that keeps you going because all of us hit hit roadblocks in life or whether it's sometimes we have I, I know for me sometimes I was doing too much stuff mm -hmm. that really wasn't connected with my purpose mm -hmm. I was doing a lot and it was good stuff right but it wasn't aligned with what my purpose so so what 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 is it that 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 has has kept you focused and and has has kept you in that point of inspiration Okay, so it's only been uh, a couple years where I've been actually focused on something. Okay. I was just like you. I was all over the place. Mm -hmm. I was doing mm -hmm. this, doing that. And it's not that it was bad things that I was no, doing. No, right, yeah, yeah. But they're not going to get you to the place that you need to be if you're doing every single thing. Wow. You know? Um, but right now, I think what keeps me focused and keeps me out of that place where I feel like you know, being down mm -hmm. or feel like um, not necessarily being productive is that the women at the cafe rely on me to be the mm. person that is like, wow. you need to do this, this, right, right, this, right, right, right. and then we're going to do this, this, and this, and then everything is going to be great. And if you don't have a leader mm. like that, mm -hmm. um, then God, the whole thing kind of falls apart. Wow. So I feel like I have to be that leader mm. because – you know, everybody needs, especially the women at the cafe or just people in general who are working on something, they need somebody to, I don't want to necessarily say look up to, mm -hmm. but they need somebody to be there to be that beacon of light wow, wow. and be able to tell them that they can do things. I can't tell those women that they can do things if I'm not doing it. Mm. You know, I can't tell them, right, you know, right, right. stay focused exactly. when I'm not focused. Exactly. You know? People will be able to see that. You can't lie, but for so long. That's the truth, cha cha. You're right about that. Right. You're right about that. Right. So I, I have to show and prove. I love it. I love it. And, and and it's powerful. Who 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 is your team? Like like who do you connect with that 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 keeps you going? Because all of us need, you know, some say a village or some group. But but who who has been who has been those that, that have been around you that have supported you and cheered you on? during this journey? Oh, my family, definitely. Wow. Awesome. Um, my mother. Yeah. yeah. Number one motivation. My mother is just, she's <laughs> an amazing woman. Awesome. And I'm sure she's watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's an amazing woman. Awesome. Um, uh, my cousin, uh, Fox, uh, everybody can go follow her, the pink sister. Okay. Uh, okay. She's actually a makeup artist. She does makeover for, uh, for cancer survivors. Awesome. Because her herself, right. she's a cancer survivor, awesome. diagnosed at 26. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so she's been a great help. Awesome. Um, my sister, Charlia, like, there's so many people in my family that are just, like, mm. amazing. Wow. They're truly amazing. But at the cafe, I have a community manager, so yeah. Celeste Preston of So Sophisticated Art. She has our own clothing line. Awesome. Um, I think you met her when you were yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yes, yes, so yes. So she yes, actually yes. just started selling maybe about uh, three years ago. Really? Has her own brand. Wow. Is working hard. So along with Celeste, there's also all of the members of the cafe. They help so much wow. and they keep me inspired. Awesome. And, you know, actually, um, Marianne Stanback, who's the owner of Unique Arm Candy and Unique 96, she's one of the social cafe members, founding members. And um, she sent me a voice message. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how you can record on your yes, phone and yes, just send yes, it yes. over? She sent me a voice message that was just like, you know, you inspire us and all of these uh -huh. other things. And I was at a place where I felt like I was wow. not really doing much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like I felt like I could have been doing more right 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 and after right, the right, get, right getting that message and I'm bawling like yeah. oh my gosh I'm really doing something yeah. so uh yeah just wow. those people the people in the cafe my family my friends 
they're just amazing. Right. And they helped me through. Well, please add me to the list, please. And my <laughs> wife. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you, we, I, I am a cheerleader for Cha Cha Hudson right here. I'm telling you, her, her passion, her desire, her focus is amazing. She is an international <laughs> designer, philanthropist, motivator, educator. As I said before, over 19 years of sewing experience. Uh, she teaches fashion courses at the University of Delaware, fashion and apparel studies department, uh, continuing education department at Moore College of Art and Design. I'm telling you, just um, the owner of the Social Cafe, that is The Social, S-E-W-C-I-A-L, Cafe, C-A-F-E dot com. Go to it right now. If you are in the Philly area, New Jersey area, Delaware area, please connect with a, a phenomenal space of inspiration. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. And listen, I told you, I am a cheerleader for you. Thank you. Not, I'm not, I'm you, because there's something special about you. Because, 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 see, I'm a judge. Like, I'm able to judge people. I, I, I am. I, like, I'm a judger. I, no, no, I am. <laughs> I mean, well, evaluator. Better word. Sorry, not judger. But an evaluator. And, and I can look at people and see something that, that's greater and destined in their life. Not that it's not for everybody, right. but, but there's something that where a person is at a place and there's a, there's a level. So all of us have the ability, but, but it's about what we do with it. And, and I love the fact that, that even through everything that you've gone through and, and all of your experience, that, that you're still growing. Yeah. And I love Always that. Always growing. I love that. And, and I want to ask you, where, where, if I gave you a, a wand that can just make it happen, what would Cha-Cha Hudson or what would the Social Cafe or what, what would your world look like? I feel like that would make it too easy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you don't appreciate anything unless you have to work for it. Wow. So wow. Okay, Cha-Cha. Th that's how I feel. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And with the Social Cafe, like I, I can see it go, go in so many different ways. Yes. But I see it in every major city. Yes, that's what I'm talking I, about. I know that's what I see. Yes, you know what I'm on that. Yes, yes. So whether that's through franchising right, or right, right, you know, right, right. through me opening up all of the spaces myself, yes. if I have to, I'll do that. But yes. that's where I see it. I definitely see it everywhere. I do too. Thank you. I do too. Thank you. I see your name. I see, I, I see, I, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's going to be a major brand of inspiration. I hope so. To, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. It's going to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now. So if y'all want it in Jersey, too, then y'all can reach out to me and let me know. Yes, if that's yes, thing. yes. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, we need one in Jersey. And listen, I'm telling you, my wife would love to have to be a part of it. And I'm, I'm sure. I know I, we're just too far for her. I, yeah. But she did come. Yeah. She came. We, we came, spent all day, y'all, <laughs> all day with Cha. And guess, and, and guess what? She was so nice because it was my fault because I sent, I, I, I registered but I don't think we confirmed the day or something yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. thank the Lord that Cha Cha was at the building. No, no, she was no, somewhere I else. I actually was in Jersey when you called me. Listen, I don't know what kind of <laughs> intercom they got. I hit the intercom. Cha Cha comes on the on the intercom, and she's in Jersey, and we in Philly. Yep. And and um and so thank goodness she said I'll be there by a certain time. You said let let us go get something to eat. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm telling you, when things are meant to be, it is, it is, it is going to be a, a, a press. I was telling the producers before, before the last show, listen, it's about don't lose your press. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 don't lose your, your, your press through a lot of, because all of us are going to face a lot of stuff in life that's going to try to block your purpose and, and, and block your destiny. But, but you have to have a mindset that I'm going to get to that place because it's my destiny. Exactly. And, and, and so those are things. So I want to ask you, so for, for what, if it, would you change anything about your journey? Because I know everybody says, oh, no, I want you. But, but no, I, I, I had some people say, yeah, I wish I didn't have to go through that, mm -hmm. and, you know, that experience. But would you, would you, if you could change anything about your journey, would you change anything? If I could change anything, it would probably be that I would have worked smarter before. Mm -hmm. Wow. That would have been a thing. And then also, um, my best friend, Paris, he actually mm -hmm. passed away in 2011. Oh, and um, he was a singer, okay, music producer. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, he didn't get a chance to, he didn't make it to 25. Wow. He didn't wow. get a chance to fulfill his purpose. He didn't get a chance to share mm -hmm. his awesomeness mm -hmm. with the world. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm like, while well, I'm here, right, 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 I'm right. gonna share it. Yes, 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 you yes, know? yes, yes. And that was that was definitely another thing that kept me like, wow. you have to do it. Yes, and you have to go full speed. Wow. But if I had to change anything, it probably would have been to work smarter. Mm. But I learned lessons. Yes, it's yes. all about learning lessons. It's about learning lessons. lessons. Yeah. And and so we're encouraged. I want you to talk because we, we got about mm, maybe about 15 more minutes or so left on the show. I want to ask you. Um, you know, for those people that are watching here who, who say, you know what, wow, I mean, you have your own. When I say she has a cafe, like, it's a huge, it's a wonderful space, and it's huge. I'm just telling you. I, I walked out, I was like, so my eye just kept, I, I kept walking around. I, it was a, such a wonderful, for someone who says, who, who wants to take that next step, but don't know how, how would you encourage them to, to do so? I would say just start. Wow. Just start. Just do something. We all have access like we never had access before. Go yeah. online yes. and see what the first steps of you doing whatever it is that you want to do would mm. be. Right. Um, right. I've worked with so many different people, and a lot of people don't know where to start. Right, 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 right. It's like, okay, I want to have a clothing line. What do I do? Right, right. Do I go to school? Do I not go to school? Right. Do I take a class? Do I not take a class? Listen, just be the best that you can be at right. whatever it is you're trying to do, and just take steps. Awesome. Because, yeah, you never know. You never know. You, you never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you right now, we're, we're, we're in the presence of a wonderful individual, Cha-Cha in Hudson. I'm telling you right now, please connect with her. If you want to do anything in the sewing world, again, she's a professor at a college, at a university, but, but she has her own social cafe. She, she teaches women. to. Um, have, have you considered men? Um, I have taught men So, like, before. if I want to, oh, you have? So, yeah, I have taught so men So, I can before. be a member of the social cafe? You actually could be. <laughs> okay. The thing is, we, okay. don't, we don't discriminate as right. far as people being sure. members. Right. Um, it's just that it's geared towards women. It's a, Understood. A, it's women-based. That's why I, I worked on my laptop while my wife was on. The, the yeah, website. but you were, you were still there. I was still there. <laughs> <laughs> you were still there. I love it. So, I love it. Yeah, I, I teach many different types of people. I don't even know if we talked about me uh, going to Africa this past summer teaching. Go ahead. Did, no, did we talk no, about no, that? No. We you, didn't. No, you... you you know what? I think you were talking to my wife about it. Okay. And I, and I might have, so tell tell us about that experience, please. Okay. So yes. I taught at two different schools in Africa this wow. past summer at two fashion schools, one called Chartes, uh, which is in Accra, Ghana, okay. and then the other is MBA Mode, um, which is also in Accra, Ghana. And the experience was like no other. I can only imagine. It was. It's my first time in Africa. Really? And I'm teaching fashion in wow. Africa. Go ahead, Cha Cha. I was just I love like, it. wow. Yes. Wow. No, no. Well, well, first hey, of all, you oh. know what? This came from that 3 a.m. call. I mean, 3 a.m. Uh, response to that job. Really? Because the university sponsored me to go. My goodness. So it's like. Just from that one action, from that one action, wow! It just turned into something else, and something else, oh and my something goodness, else. Cha -cha. So many opportunities. I love um, it. I love it. I mean, I'm not a spoke spokesperson for the University of Delaware. Right. I'm not. <laughs> but it but? was so many opportunities wow, there. I love it. Um, they actually, when I came up with the idea for the social cafe, mm -hmm. I entered a pitch competition. Okay. At the pitch competition at the University of Delaware, it was called Hen Hatch. And at Hen Hatch, I won $1,000. Okay. I didn't go to the finals. I was a semifinalist. Mm -hmm. And I won $1,000 for the popular vote. So people can co go past right. your tables right, and right, 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 you know, right, right, see what right. looks interesting. So right. I won the popular vote. Wow. With that $1,000, with my savings, with uh, donations from friends and family, and from also uh, founding members. So people who put up money to be a member before the cafe actually opened. Wow. With that money, I was able to start the social cafe. So that was October 2018 is when I opened the social cafe. This year, I was a finalist at the same pitch competition. Okay, okay. And won $8,400. Wow. Go ahead. So the university has continued to bless Phenomenal. me. So I just want to make sure I put that out there. Absolutely. So university of Delaware, Hen Hedge competition. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So. Awesome. All right, University of Delaware, give me some <laughs> shout outs now. <laughs> awesome. Uh, listen, I'm going to put it out there because it, it came in my, my, my spirit to, to say, listen, if there is anybody out there in the Philadelphia area, New Jersey area, that wants to take a class at, at, at the social cafe, um, I, I'm going to write something up, but, but 
um, I will sponsor a person to uh -huh. to uh -huh. take a class at your social cafe. You see this? So I'm telling you right now. What this, they have to do? I'm 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 gonna tell them what they got. Oh, okay. well, well, right now, <laughs> right now, because this is on the fly, because this is just out of my spirit. But I will draft something. But minimally, I need you to write something up. To tell me why it would be important for you to take a class. I feel like it should be a video. With Miss Ch What? Yeah, like a 30 second video. A 30 second video? Or a minute video, a something minute? like that. Okay, okay, okay. So All you right. can feel the emotion. You gotta be able to see <laughs> so, the people. So I'm gonna, you know what? In in coordination with Miss Cha Cha in Hudson, <laughs> we are going to offer a scholarship oh, of, uh, that to, would be to, awesome. for, for someone to take a class at your social cafe. So I will be in, so we will announce it at a later show. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get with Cha Cha. Okay. And we'll get All right. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this a little uh, bit better. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna sponsor a class. Yes. I'll sponsor one month membership. Woo! Unlimited access to the social cafe. Wow. Okay. On the days that we're open, we're only closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wow. So you, heard you have 12 hours a day to get work done. I'm for four weeks. And I'm you can take a class. Listen, y'all, opportunity. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm telling you. So we're gonna get together and, and get the specs in terms of this scholarship opportunity, uh, sponsorship opportunity. I'm telling you, it's gonna be phenomenal. Take advantage of it. I just felt that. Yeah, that just dropped in my. my, 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 my I'm spirit. glad it did. It did. I'm glad it did. I love it. <laughs> Listen, this show. I'm telling. You, this show is about creating opportunities for people. Listen, I can't carry you through the door. Nope. But I can show you where the door is and give you a helping hand. If you, but. But you're going to have to take that step. This is what this show is all about. Right. And we've offered a number of scholarships in the past as well, to wh whether it was for like an entrepreneurial uh, program for uh, young girls and, and different things. So, but, but that just, uh, yeah, wow. Cha Cha is offering unlimited one month yep. access. Yep. Good. Come use the machines as wow. much as you want to. Wow. Get some mentorship. Right. Um, and I, I know she may be watching. Listen, my wife, I'm sorry, but you can't be a she part of this competition. Disqualified. She can't. I'm sorry, yeah, you're not qualified because <laughs> it wouldn't be fair for me to give it to you, but I will I got you. So whenever you want to come back to Cha Cha, we good. So uh wonderful. I, I love can't that. wait for y'all to come back. Listen, I'm I can't wait to come back either. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, so we're gonna get a date to come back. And I'm telling you, my wife was in her world. And listen, what what better place to be in that if you have a question? To have a professor in the room who knows what for everything you want to do and say, can you help me or can you or am I doing it? Yeah. So I'm telling you, you are getting a a a collegiate level instruction at 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 probably half the cost, probably one third, probably one twenty fifth the cost. <laughs> yeah, you're about yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Listen, I'm telling you, I I'm just so I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I really am, and I. I, and I love this show. Thank you I so much. Listen, listen. We are here every Thursday at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and we bring on. Listen, next week we got a fourteen-year-old chef. Oh wow! She's she's gonna Skype in from Florida. She's been on Steve Harvey. She's been all over. You, you can buy a a a, a, a cooking kit to, to give to your young girls. I just bought one for my niece. Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <laughs> That's right. so, listen, but but this show is about it's, it's not about age, it's not about experience, it's not about what you have. What you, it's about a willingness to want something more than what you got. Right. And I'm telling you, when you make that declaration and that demonstration, somebody will see it, and somebody will connect you with where you need to go. So I'm, I'm so proud of you. Thank I'm so you. honored that you came here into our studios to be a part of this journey and share your Thank journey. Thank you for inviting me. No, I'm I telling you. I, matter of fact, I, I so wanted you now, when you were talking about your fashion line, I said, man, I would love to do a fashion show uh, on the show. Bring, Ooh, bring your be, garments. Well, maybe we can do something like that with the members. Yes. The members have clothing lines. Yes. So. Ah. Yeah, and, and and what we're trying to do, Cha Cha, is I'm trying to work with Hamilton Radio to get them mobile, so I can actually broadcast on location. So it's funny you say mobile, right? Oh, 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 uh huh, uh oh. Because at the Social Cafe we do something called sipping souls. Okay. So you come in, you have drinks, you have hors d'oeuvres, you have your fabric pre-cut. The sewing machines are pre-threaded. All you have to do is sew. Uh huh. Okay. So it's a lot of fun, and I'm going on tour next year. You going on tour? Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to go to different cities. I'm going to do sipping souls 
at different cities. <laughs> talk about so, cha cha. See, you talk about being mobile. Yes. We got to move around. We got to We got to shake things up. We do. So yes, we do. Yeah. Go ahead, cha cha. Yeah. So that'll be posted online very okay. very soon. Okay. So make sure you signed up for the mailing list. Um, if you're on Instagram, make sure you follow us at the Social Cafe. I love it. Uh, Twitter, the Social Cafe. Facebook slash the social cafe wow. <laughs> everything is the social cafe but wow. make sure that you sign up for the mailing list and you'll be yes. able to know um if you want me to come to your city make sure that you um you know send me an email the social cafe at gmail.com say that again the social cafe at gmail.com gmail. mm -hmm. listen email this i'm telling you right now i, I i'm telling you, and and what i love about you is that you are reachable and you're touchable so many people get to a place distant. Yes, <laughs> you know, like um, you got to go through five layers of this. But, uh, but listen, I got Cha Cha's number. I got a cell <laughs> number, y'all. Yes, I do. I'm telling you. But but it's amazing that that you are able to relate. Yeah, like you're not this person that's gotten so big that you're not willing to help or talk to. Like I mean, you are offering help. Like even when we came. You, you were doing different things and helping different. Do it. I'm just like, wow, not everybody's like that. Like, yeah. like, like, I like, think I remember you saying something like, uh, do we have to pay extra or yeah. do we have to pay extra for a class or something yeah. like that? And it's like, no. I'm like, cha -cha. I'm like, I'm, listen, it was, she was so polite and nice and, and things were, were accessible. I said, I want to give you more money. <laughs> I, I did. Right? Did I say that? Yeah. I said, I want to give you more money because you are just that good. You did say that. And that amazing. <laughs> Thank Listen, you. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you, make your connection with Cha-Cha and Hudson. I'm telling you right now, thesocialcafe.com. Did I get it right? Yes. Yep, thesocialcafe.com. Go to it right now. Go to it. Listen, it might be 3 in the morning, but go to it. Go and to and, <laughs> and you have um, live Facebook because didn't you tell us that? 24 hours, there's somebody doing something yes, online. Yes, 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 yes. I always forget to yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. So you want to go to Facebook and you want to search, search sewing with Cha-Cha Nicole. So I'll spell it out for you. So Cha-Cha is C-H-A-C-H-A, -C -H -A, all one word. And then Nicole, N apostrophe K-O-L-E. But if you put in sewing with, it'll usually just pop up. Right, right, so right. So with right. Cha-Cha Nicole, there's always somebody in our group. All you have to do is answer three questions. It's like, you know, how did you hear about us? Mm -hmm. What's your sewing skill level? What do you want to get from the group? Yeah. Answer those questions and then you're in. Um, but you can ask questions at 2 o'clock in the morning and there'll wow. be somebody up like, oh, well, I think that you should do this. Or, right, right, right. You know, right. it might help you out if you do that or, you know, something Absolutely. like that. So join the group. It's a great group. Awesome. It's fun. Um, and the difference between our group and a lot of other groups mm -hmm. is that these women have met before. Right, right, right. So right, right, right. we have meetups where you're oh, wow. you're meeting these women. We're having nice. an open so, and it's women from all different places. Yes, yes. So yeah, I love it. I our love group it. is great. Awesome. I feel like it's one of the best sewing groups on Facebook. I'm telling you, hands down. <laughs> uh, we got about two minutes left on the show. Um, any last words that you want to share with our audience? Uh, because again, I love seeing you grow in your dream and your next dream and your dream after that. Um, uh, but what I'm gonna give you the last words and then I'll I'll close out. Okay. So what I want to tell people is to get started. No matter where you are, you're never too old. You never have too much going on. If it's your passion, do it. Get started now. Don't wait until, oh, well, you know, I'll wait until the kids get out of the house or I'll wait until, you know, this happens or that happens or I switch jobs. Like, no. Just find time to do things for you. And if this is your passion, go for it. Full force. Awesome. Let's give it up for Cha-Cha and Hudson, y'all. Listen, I'm so glad that she came all the way from Philadelphia to be with us on our show. Listen, this is Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We are here every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow us on Facebook Live. You can download the app, Hamilton Radio 3.0. Listen to us on your phone, your tablet, on Channel 2, right here on Hamilton Radio. I'm telling you, stay connected with us. We love you. We thank you for your support. We appreciate you. And you know my motto, dream, take that step, and walk with purpose into your destiny. God bless you. This is Troy Alexander. I'll see you next Thursday.